know, guys, I don't bug you much, but if you're watching and you're not subscribed, man, it will help me so much if you would just press that subscribe button. And while you're there, if you see the like button, do that one too. But you can't believe what a difference it really makes. First of all, if you do the subscribe to the bell, then my videos will pop right up in your feed when they're up. And I do one every day. So there's that. Uh, number two is that if you subscribe, then it moves my video along and I can do more on my channel. So please consider subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Tell somebody to subscribe. Think about subscribe. When I finish watching my video, just think subscribe. So can you subscribe? <laughs>
is the Ten of Pentacles. So familial wealth. Look at that. Do people think that by being next to him, that this is what's going to come to him? The challenge being, look at that. The Ten of Swords just being stabbed to death. Okay, being done. So the challenge to running after this, what they perceive to be familiar wealth, is that he's going to stab them right, not even in the back, right in the front. He'll drop you like a hot potato and run a knife through you without even thinking twice and then step over your body to get to the next person. The, um, the uh, uh, base for this then is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is an abuse of power. So he comes to us. We all understand this. He starts out as someone who is inspired by an abuse of power. In the past of this reading, then, is the Queen of Wands. He is the Queen of Action. And look, he's got a black cat uh, by his side. You know, the, the, this card doesn't always have to be the gender of the person that you're speaking about. It, it can show the action uh, that you might want to attribute to them. And he's always got a plan. He's always got something that seems big, okay, in the works. And maybe that's why people want to be a part of it. I don't, and he does. He does have things that are big in the works. He does have a plan. Uh, in the sky of this reading is the world card. So this is telling us that, you know, it's it's a, a cycle that's going over and over and over again. Beginnings and endings, beginnings and endings, beginnings and endings. His life is that. It never seems to finish. It's just a continual uh, ringer washing machine of... of um, improprieties over and over again the likely outcome if you fall into this trap then is the queen of pentacles well look it looks like there's a very good chance that you might come out with some coin and there are people who are willing i guess to do anything anything to improve their financial position if they think if they think they will improve the financial position that's the the key i guess Let's see, the um, the last four parts of this, I don't know that I'm getting a clear picture, I guess I am, is uh, the self, the self of wanting to be uh, inspired by this guy is the Ten of Cups. And just like this uh, familiar wealth, the Ten of Cups is all your dreams are fulfilled. It's just a miracle that's happened. You, you and your family are going to rejoice and sing and, and, and bask in the glow of all the trophies that you're going to gain. I mean, that's what he's selling. He's selling the sizzle of him. The challenge uh, to that or the environment really that that's in is the four of wands, which are these little celebrations, little things that wands are action, motion, power, moving forward. These little um, um, celebrations that he puts up in front of you along the way, I guess just to keep you enticed. Uh, and then uh, the likely outcome, if you've fallen into his spell, is it's a balancing act. Okay, he's always juggling one thing over the other to keep you up in the air to make you think that, you know, this is what's going to happen now and this is what's going to happen then and this is going to be good and that's going to be better. And then the likely outcome of all of that is celebrations. Look at it. It's enough for people to join the party. The Three of Cups is uh, celebrations for everybody. But you know, it's just not enough for me. There has to be more. I'm going to go right back to the beginning and do it again because I don't think that that's a valid reason. So we're going to get two uh, readings out of this. I've got 10 cards that I've got to reincorporate here. So you help me count. That's four. This is five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. And um, this is nine. And then this is 10. So that's all the cards that I use. I'm going to do another Celtic cross, another full Celtic cross, because I don't know. It's okay. That told me that told me, yes, what it is that people want and that they often come out with some sort of better financial position uh, than they were, than they went into it. And they're willing to dirty their hands to get it. Um, so what can we ask now? So if you are, what would it take for people not to follow this man? What would it take for people to realize that this can't, this is not the way to go? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Right off the end. One, two, three. Are there people, is everyone um, uh, uh, likely to be enticed by this kind of, uh, of uh, horror uh, if you're met by it? I think, I think they are. I think almost anybody, it seems like, is willing to go the distance with this guy. Uh, just to better their financial position because that's all it is. There's nothing more than that. 
the uh, signified chord of this is um, the Six of Pentacles, which is kind of uh, wanting things the, the way they were in the past. I don't know how that answers this question, but um, let's see what the, the next part of that is. The challenge to that is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords, again, is a thief in the night, someone making away with all these truth and justice and rules that, that aren't his. You know, he's sneaking out of the camp. Uh, the basis of that reading is the uh, Knight of Cups, the Knight of uh, Passion, the Knight of... Um, um, emotions. So the Knight of Emotions is a fellow who's going to fight for what he thinks is right. And does he inspire people to this to this uh, juiced up um, um, uh, energy? This fight. The, um, the the past. This is the the base. And the past of this reading is the Three of Pentacles working together to show uh, to produce something for public display. So people want to show the wealth that they gain by being so smart, uh, being with this guy. The uh, Page of Pentacles is uh, then standing here and saying, look, you know, I can uh, give you, I have the secret. I have here in this envelope is what is going to make you rich and you just have to open it with me. And in the uh, likely outcome, look at this, is wishes being fulfilled. The fellow is just charmed. Everything I pull on him shows that if you get yourself wet with him, you're going to come out financially a little bit better, but I think you're going to be morally a little bit worse, if not a lot worse. Um, the self of this, then, is going to be, look at this, the Eight of Pentacles, which is working on yourself, working on something over and over and over and over again. And I just think that's the scams. That's the grifts that he just keeps perfecting. He has perfected over a lifetime he, uh, ways to make money. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the Hierophant. Oh, yeah. So all these these uh, scams that he come up, he has found a way to skip around the rules, to skip around the government, to skip around the Hierophant. And then the likely outcome or the hopes and the fears of this then is the six of swords moving out of troubled water. Every time something gets a little ugly, he's able to maneuver that boat right out of the way. And then the likely outcome again, look at this celebrations again, again. So, so many people, if there's some way that they think that they're going to come out a little bit better or a lot better, I guess is what they suppose, and then they come out a little bit better, and that's good enough for them to try it again. <sighs> okay, cards, you came out the same way twice, so there's nothing more I can do. You know, I'm not going to devote time to talk about uh, this reading uh, in this piece right here. I'm, all I'm going to say is this, you know, I'm just a regular guy. I'm normal, try to have a decent life and do things the way they're supposed to be done. And uh, why is it that so many people are willing to give up everything? Or do they did not perceive it as giving up? Do they see that there's no, is it like running a stop sign? They feel like nobody's looking. I'll run the stop sign and nobody will know. It's worth that little charge. It's worth that little um, excitement that you get from doing that. Why, why, why? I'm really troubled about this. And if you guys can can uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, maybe it'll help me out and, and put me on the road to another video. But um, I, just, I just am disgusted. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.